And we are back. Okay, so continue. What made you want to destroy people? What What was your reasoning? Because... <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I don't want people to get the wrong idea here. I don't want them to think, oh, I'm a killer. I'm a person that wants... You but know, you have killed. In a roundabout way. No, there's no roundabout it. You have killed. With my thoughts. Okay, and because that's power. one of the powers my you asked for. My intention, with my intent. So you asked for intentional, supernatural... Intent to kill. Act of power. Okay, why? Well, basically it's for people with no souls. That are totally soulless. I'll give but you But how can you tell whether someone has a soul or not? Well... Because that's the other power you I, got. Because the <laughs> other power I asked for and I received was a power of discernment. Because I can look at somebody and tell whether they're any good or not. Am I able to kill when you look at me? Yes. Most w definitely. Would I feel guilty about it? No. Then you know me well. No, not at all. Now, what made you? What was your reason? You, you Now, you've said well, you know, bad soul. You know I'm an animal lover. Yes. Okay? Now, I eat meat. Okay, I do eat meat. I wish I didn't, but I do. I, I grew up eating meat. So I don't want people to think I'm just some one of these wackos, you know, that are <laughs> whatever they call those people. Um, oh, what do they call it? Just don't even go there. Just keep going. Uh, just keep going. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I, I do enjoy meat, so I'm not going to profess like, you know, I'm some saint with animals. Um, what I don't like is when I see people, I live in the shore area, okay? And every summer, spring and summer, you'll see turtles come out because as soon as the weather gets warmer, they're coming out, they're making their way across highways and roads. Um, for the most part, people will stop. They will stop and let the turtles or the ducks. Or we'll get out and move them. They'll get out and move yeah. them. We'll help them get across the road. For the most part, people will get out and try to, to, <coughs> to move them. And then there are times where people will swerve around them to avoid hitting them. Um, but I have seen people <clears throat> intentionally run turtles over. And when I see that... Lindy now kills them. <laughs> all that I see is red. I go into a rage. It's just red. There's nothing else I see. And I wish them dead. Plain and simple. I don't know how else to put it. I'm not a saint, and God knows me well. I'm not going to pretend to be, you know, a saint, but when I want someone dead, it, it usually happens. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but when I see these kind of people that intentionally go and run a turtle over. Now, if it's an accident, that's different. If somebody was to hit one by accident, any kind of animal, I understand that. You know, an accident's an accident. But we're talking here intentional killing of life. Now, what do you think about that, Steve? You have a redneck in a truck. You have a redneck in a truck. He sees the turtle. Along. He revs it up. He kills the turtle. Should that act cause death? Should she be able to cause the death of that human being? I think so. I do too. A life is because, a life. Is a life if because here's the reason. Learned. Here's the reason why I think so personally. Because if you have so little regard for a little animal, a little turtle, doing nothing, hurting what no kind one. of soul must you have to be able to kill something they have no soul. just for fun? So to me, you have no place in this world. They have no soul. So you've killed at least, what, three people? Yes. Well, I said now I didn't go out. Well, please, I, at I least want... three people dead. Yes, with the intent to kill, and they have died. With my mere intentions, because now here's the difference between Lindy and I. I have always had that ability. Lindy has not had that ability. I had somebody get hit by a big truck. Did I not? Yes. And that scared you at first when you first knew that. Oh yeah. Because we knew the guy that we had killed with the truck. That big you big truck. Had okay, yeah, me. It was me. I had him plow right into the mother, uh, to to the to the man, and <laughs> take him out. I was shocked. She. That was the first time Lindy ever became afraid of me. 
and it was something, he did something bad, and he was ended. I still, to this day, I have no guilt. No, and neither should you. I don't feel you should. Have Although I would never tell people what he did because they'd be like, wait a minute now, that was a little extreme. Like they would. Like I, don't I already think it was know. extreme. I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah, but it, you know, I don't know. But um, I have done that. I did it to another woman that made me mad. And I don't do it to people that make me mad. I'm not that kind of person. You can make me mad and I know better. Like it's just like, you know, you walk away. You can do things to me and I walk away because I don't, I don't believe I have the right to take a life. However, I think there are times that if we are given the ability to do this, to take a life, if deep inside of us, we can grab on to that power that allows us to take a life, then there's a reason for that. Now, people would say, you don't have a right to take a life. It's not up to you to decide when someone lives or dies. Well, that's true. However, is it true? When you really think about it, is it true? Because what Steve does in his, transfer in his, his transformation is he reaches deep inside with an angelic guidance from the Garden of Eden, this being that came for him, and gets that seed mm -hmm. that they call the God seed. That makes you almost like a god because you're in his image, except for what that means is magically. Not that you look like God, but you have the ability of God. So if you can crack that seed. Well, even Christ said we could do greater works than him. Exactly. So if, if Christ himself could heal the, the sick, send swine off a cave with the, with the demons, and we can do greater works than him. And he could decide who he would and would not heal, who he would and would not let die. If God sits above and decides what war is going to kill this many people, who's to say that we, ourselves, as killers down here, are not helping the blackened souls that walk this earth by taking them out? Because I know there was a woman. A lot of them belong to Satan anyhow. Exactly. There was a woman. Okay. And I said to myself for years, I knew she did not deserve to live for years, for 10 years. I knew she didn't deserve to live. This is the only woman that ever got away from me killing her because I went ahead and killed her. I know, seriously. I said to myself, that's it. Today's the day she dies. And then the ambulance came down and carted her out with a heart attack. She wasn't going to make it. And then I said to myself, because it's before I realized who I was and what I could do. And I said, I have to take that back. It's, it's not up to me to decide this. And I took it back and she lived. She did. I swear to God, this is true, honest to God story. I don't want to take mine back. This was my second killing. It was my second killing. It really was. Or no, it might've been the fourth. Intentional or unintentional? Oh, intentional. It was intentional. And then I took it back because I'm like, okay, you know, God's going to be mad. It's not my right, blah, blah, blah. But then after that, I realized when you sit and you do some seriously deep thinking about the world, the planet, the universe around you and people, the one thing I've always had that I was born with as a baby is discernment. Now that's something you gain through your transformation. I did. But it's something that any of you people watching this video can send me a picture anytime of anybody. And I can tell you, are they a good or bad person? Now, usually I just use the term good and bad. Now, if I see somebody evil, I'm going to tell you, this person's evil. Back up. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, look, there's a lot of people. I know. I don't, I don't know how I know, there, but I'm, I'm, never, I'm never wrong. There's a lot of people on a scale that are exceptionally good, and then you have the other extreme that are exceptionally Need to go. Rotted. And then you got a lot of people in the middle. Yeah, and a most lot. people do fall in the middle. And there, yeah, I mean, you got some a little more over here, and then you got some a little more over there. And then There's you got a, the extremes. But right. there always has to be that balance. Like, and like, also, like and the seesaw. And the other thing is, is the universe lies to you. Like, for example, Mother Teresa. People believe she was a saint. This bitch was evil. I'm sorry, she was no good. And if Catholic people are going to listen to this and tell me how wrong I am, then you need to check what she did. You need to look at what she did, at the suffering and pain, this putrid. Really, I never knew that. Yes, this putrid piece of shit 
did to people. Wow. This putrid shit bag did to people. Because they, they looked to her like she No, saw. because they didn't know her. They didn't know. Yeah, I'll her. tell you who was good. Okay, I'm gonna research. I'm gonna look into you, you, that. Go ahead, anybody. I, I go ahead. But like look people into it. that we don't hear about, I Facebooked it. I don't know if anybody goes. I gotta it. cut it off, and I'll come right back.